Hello again, everyone. This is your stream, Mr. Steven. And welcome to a very special edition on the Steam Factor 2020. Um, I know this is going to be my last video um, this week before I'm heading to my vacation. But um, I know that today is not a good day. Or should I say tonight is not a good night. Now, a few hours ago, I just posted a video this afternoon that Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gigi, both die in a helicopter crash on a suburb of Los Angeles. Kobe was only 41 years old, and his daughter, Gigi, she was only 13 years old. I really don't know I had to say this, but I'm officially heartbroken right now. Um, Kobe Bryant was a true legend, an icon, and the most respected, respectful man in the NBA history for over 20 years. Uh, he made a dynasty for LA and especially for the fans from across the nation and around the world. I know that some of you who know about Kobe, but I have been know everything about Kobe by my heart. You know, as a kid, I didn't grow up watching sports, but I always watched cartoons and classic TV shows. But when I get older as a teenager, uh, I remember that Kobe Bryant wins the NBA Finals on NBC. That was on the summer of 2002. That was, that was when he got his first dynasty. Or should I say that this is the beginning of the dynasty of Kobe Bryant. Um, he wore two jerseys, such as such as uh, number eight and number twenty four. And it's been revealed that he's retiring uh, from the NBA in the year of twenty sixteen. I want to tell you my point of view about Kobe Bryant that he was a wonderful man with his great heart and wonderful talent he always tried to have a wonderful chemistry to all his players and his wonderful daughter, Gigi. And if you see that image of the father and daughter, that's a wonderful relationship right there. Like this. They've been together like this. And she always wants to ask his father that he want, she wanted to be just like him. Following, just give me a minute. Just give me a second. His <laughs> following his father's footsteps. And he coached her. He accepted her. And she coached her just the way she wanted to become an outstanding basketball player. Um, let me tell you how it went down. Um, it happened in the laundromat when I was in... um. 
uh, I was listening to music in the afternoon, and um, I was in a larger mouth listening to music in the afternoon, and I was trying to mind my own business. I thought Sunday was a pretty good day for me, and twenty and started in twenty twenty. Um, I I check on my phone, and um. Just checking on on my Instagram, and it's been revealed that TMZ has been confirmed that Kobe Bryant died at the plane crash at the at the helicopter crash. And there's nine people on board, including Kobe and his daughter Gigi. Um, I tried to call Martin, and um, and he said to me, "Yo." And I told him, Martin, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant passed away. And he said, what? And he was shocked. And, um, and, um, um, uh, he checked on Twitter. I check on Google and Instagram and, um, and special on Twitter as well, too. It's not even trending until the next hour. But during at 320, uh, it's been revealed that um it's been confirmed that Kobe Bryant passed away. So young at the age of 41. I really don't know I had to say this, but Kobe was a very inspirational man. He was the legend. And let me tell you, he's become one of the best players from the 90s. He doesn't want to be like Michael Jordan. He doesn't want to be like LeBron James. And remember, um, he used his last text last night that he that he surpassed him as his number on his as his number three spot. And um, and LeBron James that he came down. He came here to the L.A. He was heartbroken. And I was heartbroken too. But we're all heartbroken over here on the NBA world. Um, ESPN did a, a, a commercial free gavel to gavel. Uh, they did a very good job. Um, Sienna also did a very good job. But I think the news is not far enough for him. But I don't know about the NFL network right now because I think they're going to do the news about him. But I think it will go hurt the ratings at this time because it's not basketball related because the NFL network is a football channel. But what I'm trying to what I'm trying not to say is um, you already know Super Bowl week, but. But let's stop of the Super Bowl week at the moment and let's start to take a, a moment to reflect about Kobe Bryant. And um and I just sat there on ESPN and like two or three hours I think. I sit it down and silent. I suppose trying to say anything, but I just, I'm a guy who always trying to watch the news and be silent for a while. And, um, people have been heartbroken in this world, man. It feels like you have an impact like a, a JFK assassination or or John Lennon combined. What I'm trying to met to say is he was a good man with a great heart. And to be honest with you, he's been he's been grew up in Philadelphia. And Philly loves Kobe too. I I want to I have friends in, in Philadelphia in my apartment. I hope they knew that they just heard the news and sorrow. 
but right now this is not uh, a right time but we're always trying to remember Kobe Bryant and trying to get to uh, trying to get to heal and trying to keep the head up and hopefully um, for the next 24 hours they will continuing on this tragic day and we don't know what's happening on the helicopter it will be on investigation but hopefully it could be the turbulence or, or something like that or it could be the fog visibility <laughs> but let's just say that Kobe have his wonderful life he done his part. And now he got his daughter with him. And she needs him more than ever. And she, and, whew, so young. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ah. Uh. Just, just get very emotional right now. I have no words to say, but it really hurts. Kobe, Gigi, I know you guys made it through so far. Um, Kobe, you are an outstanding leader, a wonderful family man, and you are outstanding, respect, respectful, respectful legend. Respectful legend. Um, may the Lord protect you and Godspeed. Rest in peace. This is yours truly, Mr. Steven, saying, Dolo Bala Familia. Thank you for watching the Steven Factor and Kobe, you always remember.